I should probably turn on my mic. <laughs> hey, what's up, guys? Alright, so tonight I'm going to play a game I have never played before on Wii U. I just downloaded it. I just spit all over my gamepad, so that's pretty great. It's called How to Survive. So, I guess it's like some z zombie survival game. Some, something of that nature. So, I don't know, let's give it a shot and see how it turns out. Spit all my screen. But I've never played this before. I just got it. Uh, apparently, this game is on, I think, 360, PS3, Wii U, which I'm playing the Wii U version, PS4, Xbox One, and PC. So, I have never played this game. It seemed interesting. I wanted something new to play on my Wii U. And this seems like a Wii U game. I've never played anything like this, so let's see how it works. Local. Local game. So apparently the Wii U version, I think, has no online. I think there's normally online play. This kind of stinks. Uh, Wii U gamepad. Automatic instant kills off. Subtitles, uh, okay. I'll just leave that on default settings. Or maybe. Turn this shit up. I usually do this for every game that I can. Alright. Alright, so it's all saved. Discoveries gathered together in a book. Stay tuned. Play the story or challenges offline solo with a friend. <laughs> well, I, oh my, offline is the only option I have. So, all right. So local game, I guess. Story mode and challenge mode. Survivals. <laughs> Beat the survivors of these truly fucked up islands and find a way of getting out. This is not even infested hell. We're challenging my butt. All these stories, bud. One or two players. No online co op, but there's offline co op for Wii U. Anyways, we'll do uh, one player. So there's different classes. Oh, is there a story mode for each of these characters? Interesting. This guy has a good chunk of health. Not much stamina. This guy seems like. I might try the big guy. Jack is a hefty fellow. Built like a brick outhouse, in fact. This isn't quite the the great outdoors he's so familiar with, but he's definitely no stranger to roughing it. So what if he's <laughs> not the most fit or limber? Just don't get in his way if he's swinging a weapon. With his size and strength, he'll be sure to hack it. That's a survivor or die. So, my guess is maybe precision is more like weapons based, and maybe strength is more like melee based. She's got a good chunk of health. She has a lot of stamina, but her strength, so she's probably better with like weapons. I don't know. I'm gonna try Jack. I'll try the big guy. I wonder like each character has their own story, maybe. Uh, we'll try Jack. Normal or Iron Man? Uh, uh normal. Normal. Easy. Medium. Hard. Do 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 Zambies. Mayday! Mayday! 
Mayday! Mayday! This is Scamper VL-2841. Our position, two nautical miles southwest of Los Riscos Island. We require immediate assistance. Our controls are out. Visibility, four. Mayday! 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 This is the Coast Guard Station, Brands Point, Scamper VL-2841. Coast Guard Station, Brands Point, Channel 16. Your trajectory is fine. Keep your course. Over. Coast Guard, please confirm. Green, right ahead. I can mute the mic during cutscenes. I don't know. Stop. So on the gamepad, it's showing a map, and I would assume my inventory. See it there. My health is on the gamepad as well. But like... Stop. Hey, you, please. I need some help. I was attacked. I'm exhausted. There are monsters everywhere on this goddamn island. Some followed me and surrounded me on this beach. I managed to kill some of them, but look, bastards bit me. Listen, I know there are medicinal plants around here. You gotta bring me one. It should ease the pain. Please, be quick. I'm bleeding. Check this. Find a medicinal plant and bring it. Back to the game. Okay, we need your gamepad to see your objectives. Okay. Fucking monster. Is there a way? I wonder if there's a way I can actually bring the map to the screen. I don't think I can. So, sorry, bro. Um. Uh, your internet's that stinky. Okay. Stop. Sorry. I wonder. Hold on. I want to see something. But I wonder if I can control. Oh shit. Hold on a second. I want to see. Stop. Some real quick. So I want to see if I can control the game with the pro controller real quick. Stop. I don't think so. I'm, so I'm thinking maybe the if the pro controller might be uh, for the second player only. So help! Ah. Fucking hot. Painkillers. You may need them yourself. Here's hoping you don't. <laughs> Yay! Sweet. Now I was kind of looking at some stuff, but there's like supposed to be like skill trees and shit too. Which I'm not too sure how to look at that crap. So the B button is pause for some reason. So that's a regular pause, and then there's the B button. Huh, interesting. Okay. Hey, my name's Andrew. I'm not sure how I ended up here. It's a little hazy. But this place, it's a nightmare. A living nightmare. I'm one of a small group of survivors. It's been about a week since we tried and failed to escape these islands. It seems impossible to get off. Many of us have died, devoured by these damn monsters. Right now, my friend Ramon is all I've got left. The rest are either 
dead or walking dead. Ramon is injured and can hardly move. I, I left him close to our boat while I went to find fuel. Please find him. Tell him that I'm injured and stuck here. You you'll find him on the beach, on the east side of the island. Listen, be careful. Really careful. The island is swarming with these fucking monsters. Here, take this stick. You'll need it to survive. <clears throat> I remember on the east end of the island telling the situation to receive that wooden stick. So I'm assuming since Jack's strength is highest, so he, he's probably better with melee weapons and guns, I'm assuming. Alright, so how do I use this? Press the ZR to use your own. Durr! Durr! It's the right stick. Hey. Okay. You are probably afraid for your life. You will be lost and hungry. And if you have not already, you will soon encounter the many zombies who live here. Please, stay positive. The situation is desperate, but not lost. Thanks to my survival guide, you will get through this. My guide is a thorough training program to help you survive the most extreme environments. It contains all you need to combat the zombies. Good luck, and see you soon, survivor! Remember, unarmed combat is useless against these monsters. Always use a weapon. Seems like a handy guidebook. Track the quest. Track it. I wish it was like an on screen map. Kind of nice. I don't know like that. Yeah, there's a skill tree. Alright. There's like equipment and stuff too. Oh no. Okay. like the tips. Uh, I don't think so. So the automatic instant kills. Uh, I guess not. Different 
herbs boost so the recipes I got weapons it's 36 weapons armor huh okay all right Rules. Chapter 1 Close Combat. Here are some basic rules you have to keep in mind when you have to confront a monster during close combat. Use the right stick to aim. You still can move while aiming. Hold your strike to increase its damages. Oh shit, okay. Did I know that? Press the A button when kill appears above a hurt monster to make an instant kill. <laughs> okay. So I already knew that except for holding. If I hold the weapon, it's like charges it. Oh, I didn't let go. Oh, jeez. Back up. Oh no. What was that plan? Okay. So how do I... Okay, so there's like the quick select down there. So I can combine this... With that. Okay, cool. Used to no camera control. Oh, just fucking suplex him. Sure, why not? Alright. Oh, that's gonna. Maybe I'll see if I can get to this guy, then I'll wonder maybe if I restart the game and then turn on the game pad, and maybe I can just use the pro controller. So I would like to do is use the pro controller and then use the map on the gamepad. So, seems like there's no durability. Real. Also seems like there's no hunger meter. Maybe like the survival mode has like hunger or something. I wonder if I'm like invincible during like the, the kill animations. A fucking lariat. That sprint. Probably just for Jack though. See, Jack I think had the worst sprint. Oh shit. Alright. Okay, so it seems like it might be invincible. There might be some kill animations. Yeah, that's what it seems like. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Kovacs rules. Chapter two. Healing. <clears throat> Fracture. Cut. Disembowelment? To be a survivor means to have injuries, yet live. So, if you get injured, and you will, do not fear. Help is at hand. The islands are full of medicinal plants to treat your wounds. Eating these plants will help you to regain your health. For more serious wounds, put the leaves in a cloth to make a poultice. Finally, I have left some presents for you. The med kits are powerful gifts. They will fully heal you in a flash. So, never give up, and fight! Ah, okay.
Alright, I assume I'm going the right way. Yeah. He's here. There it is. Hey, who are you? And where's Andrew? You met Andrew? Where is he? Shit. That's terrible news. Yo, if they bit him, it's all over. It's only a matter of time. He's gonna turn into a monster too. Yeah, I got bit too. That's why I cut my leg off. Cut my own leg. I had no choice. I went out of here alive. So what about you? Have any teeth marks to declare? Who no. Well, and you got here what with just a stick? I'm impressed. Listen, if Andrew's bitten, then I'm shit out of luck. You've gotta help me. But look, I can, I can help you too. I know how to survive. Come on, we can work together. <clears throat> you and I. Here, take this. You got a whole heap of shit ahead of you. If you want to stay alive, you want to have to use it. Comprende? Oh, it's kill or be killed. Oh, I can attack, papa. Okay. Come on. Follow me. Night's about to fall, and I got a favor to ask you. Come on. Help you, Sai. Alright, there's the machete. Find the machete with my stick, now I made arrows. Huh, I was hoping it'd tell me like my weapon strength. Okay, so I gain a level. So the first point I have to put into is the ability to light up fire, fire camps and torches. So now I can do that. Okay. Here's the plan. Last week, on another island, we found an old air tanker. It's damaged, but we could repair it and escape. Boats can get us island to island, but by air. That seems to be the only way out of here. Andrew's mission was to find gas for the plane. This is your job now. Problem is, night is coming. And you need to know, some really freaky creatures come out only at night, along with the, with the other monsters. These, Creatures are vile and really aggressive. They only attack when it's dark and hate bright light, so at least you can use that against them. I'll give you my personal flashlight to go to the village. Or can I ask you to light me the campfire just here? Well, the required skill and light up the campfire. Which I already did. Kovacs hmm. rules! Chapter 3, Skills. You can upgrade your abilities throughout your trip. To do this, open your inventory and go to the Skills screen. There are many abilities that you can acquire, thanks to the experience you build up during your adventure. The first one allows you to light up campfires. <laughs> Talk to the Goma. Like, 
the same King K. rule for Smash Brothers. Light the campfire for me, please. I, I don't want to stay here in the dark with these nasty nocturnal things. They're terrible. should be Lost enough to people. keep them at bay, as promised. Here's my flashlight. If they come after, aim the light at them, and they will stay away for a while. Okay? All right, good. Let's get back to the real issue, the gasoline. Before we crashed, I spotted a small village. You will find it at the top of this island. With my machete and flashlight, you should be able to find it. If there's fuel on this island, it's gonna be there. So find a jerry can, make sure it's filled, and come back. Do you understand? You find fuel, and you halfway to freedom. I'll wait for you here. I'm sorry. If I could run, <laughs> if I could even walk, I'd come with them. Good luck to you, my friend. Alright, reach a small village, find a can filled with gasoline, and bring it back to Ramon. Okay. Alright, so how's this game save? Uh, let me check real quick. Hopefully it'll be in the manual. Controls. Okay, um, DLC, playable characters. Handling explosives and... Okay, I think I was right, though. About Jack, he seems like he's good with... Ventori. Sheet. Skill tree, control scheme. So I'm going to see if I can use the Okay, so there is like a hunger meter thing in here. Okay, I just want to know how do I save the game? Does it save automatically? Um, So it saves after hmm. Okay, so there's like save houses, okay. So I'll stick with the Wii U gamepad till then. Okay, so I got a flashlight now, so that's good. 
so I need to go. Yes, this way. There's an X to change a weapon. Okay, I don't have any other weapons. I had the stick, but I cut it up for arrows. But I assume the machete is probably better. That's crazy. You do have a hunger meter. Stick, a rock, a strong melee, though it's a way it makes it. It's charging time longer. So you can fish, okay. Can you can you pause the game? Oh, you can pause the game and uh, do stuff on the inventory screen. That's pretty nice. So that's what that's for. So I have okay. So can I combine? Oh, you can break a part of shit, too. Okay, that's interesting. Hmm. Okay, so I want to go... I can't go this way. I want to go over there, but I, I guess I got to go around. I didn't turn that on. I turned on automatically. They hate light. So what if I turn the light off? Can I kill him? I've seen the saving. <sighs> okay, so zombies are not affected by light, just the, the night features. You had a weapon though, so maybe you can help me. I wonder if he can die. Huh. Okay, 
Okay, so... so let me pause. That's cool. You can pause and still use this. So I have food. But where's my... I don't have a hunger meter yet. Well, let's use this healing plant I got. Survival by night. Beware! Another kind of monster appears at night. There are many of these, and they are aggressive. But they hate the light. You can easily keep them at bay with a torch. Oh. Or a flashlight. When you sense night coming on, check for your flashlight. You won't want to be caught without it in the dark. So. Internet, yep. Fucking DLC, DSL, man. DSL sucks. What if my flashlight lasts forever? Nice, I can get got two of them at once. I was gonna check the controls again for a second. Um, control, control. Okay, that's controllers. Okay, just make sure. I'm, or stick to aim. Or button to run. ZR to hit. So shoot. ZL select a melee weapon or ranged weapon. X to change weapon, press Y to manual reload, press A to contextual action, press B to inventory, slash map of the island. So it says, oh, that's, okay, that's Wii U gamepad only. Stop action. I'll triple it now. Use quick and pause, okay. So I wonder if there is a way I can use the... So I'm gonna get to the save point, and then what I'm gonna do is turn off my Wii U gamepad. So now I want to go this way. Oh, I, I, I assume I could kill the deer. Harvest it. Shit, I'm stuck. 
I was. Dead. I didn't give me much help there. Amazing added picks. That's what it's up to go. I added in them uh, yesterday, I did. I'm just trying to look at the map. Once I probably get to the same point, I'm probably just gonna probably cut it. I did stream earlier today though. So. Alright, so I assume it must be sunrise. hunger, but I don't know how to tell. Okay, yeah, arrows. I figured that out earlier. So it seems like you can make the recipes. You can make the items of the recipes without the actual recipes. Flexible branch. There's a bunch of crap here. Ooh. One bow. Did I actually get the bow? Hey, so I got a bone arrow now. I got limited arrows, though. Kovacs rules. <laughs> Chapter 5. Bows and arrows. The bow is the simplest distance weapon you can create. And the quietest. Select a flexible branch, then combine it with a reel of twine. For arrows, combine a wooden stick with your machete. Making arrows is easy, but getting them back is even easier. So always collect them after a fight. No matter where they are stuck. <laughs> See, in that screen it showed hunger and thirst. 
So I wonder if, I wonder if it's just because I'm doing it on normal, I don't have to worry about hunger and thirst. I just gotta worry about health. Or maybe that's later introduced? I don't know. Supposed to be safe house. I don't know, I got the safe house here. New hardware, okay. Yeah, I've seen a bunch of sales on PSN right now. Alright. Okay, did I get the fuel? I think I got it. Okay, so I did get the fuel. Okay, so I gotta go back to Romaine. Supposed to be a safe house just by looking at the icons on the map, but I don't know. I just don't want to quit till I know for sure that it actually saved. Maybe if I should restart and I can actually do the hardcore more the hardcore mode. Maybe that'd be a little more interesting. Oh, it's uh Oh, where did my machete go? So far, this game seems all right. And a gas should be enough to get us out of here. Okay. Uh, shit. Look. There may be another survivor. Go see who it is. I'll prep the boat to take us to the air tanker. Don't worry. I'll be ready by the time you get back. Yeah, I've heard, uh, I've seen people compare this to Dead Nation. I 
police station. Hey. See, I, I don't know if it's saved or not, though. So I would like to know if it did save, but... Hmm. Alright, well, I think what I'm gonna do is probably just, uh... Just stop the stream there, so... Sorry for the short, short stream. I'm kinda tired, so... But... I guess that was a quick first look at this game, I guess. That seems okay. I'll probably keep playing more of it, so. Alright, yeah, sorry for the short stream, but thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. I'll see you guys later. Ta-ta.